There's this common conversation that happens between kids and their parents. It's September, the leaves are falling, and every kid in the universe is excited about one thing, Friday night football. The teenager finishes dinner at home and is already halfway out the door when he turns around and shouts, Mom, I'm going to my Young Life leader's house after the game. Not so fast, mister. Explaining Young Life isn't easy. The only thing harder than explaining Young Life is explaining Young Life to worried parents. How worried? Kitchen table conversation worried. The hardest part to explain for the kid isn't the Young Life events or the Young Life camps. It's the relationship with these guys. Who are these people? And why do they spend all their time with high schoolers and middle schoolers? What's a Young Life leader? <laughs> um. It's Monday. The leader is supposed to get up at 5.45 a.m. They end up getting up at 5.54, so no time to shower. They need to be at a school that they didn't graduate from in 20 minutes to pass out donuts. Luckily, they can drive to this school in their sleep because they've spent every Monday for months doing the same exact thing, which is why they threw away the donut holes and started using the whole thing, no pun intended. Even though no one wanted donuts and they burned through half a tank of gas, they consider the morning a success. Another quarter tank of gas later, and they are home just on time for their 8 a.m. psychology lecture. Yeah, psychology lecture. College isn't going to finish itself. Classes drag, but once they're finished, it's back up to the school that they didn't graduate from. It's campaigners tonight, which is pretty much just a Bible study for people that wouldn't usually come to one. Moms are happy everywhere that their child's NIV is no longer collecting dust. Campaigners is a place where people can be real. It's a place where people um, are free to ask the questions that they've always been thinking and find out those answers. Right before they sleep, they briefly recall all the new names that they had learned that day at the school that they didn't grow up. All right, you get it. Tuesday. Sun rises. Tuesday is an almost identical day to Monday, minus the donuts and plus a basketball game. They see that student again. They laugh at one of your jokes. Let's go! On their way back home, they stop by the local sports bar and ask about fundraising opportunities. The leader needs to raise a lot of money and not a lot of time if they want all the students to go to Young Life Camp. What's Young Life Camp? It's the best week of your life, but we really don't have time to talk about that right now. Wednesday. Club Day, Young Life's party with a purpose. The leader has been rehearsing their lines for weeks for a silly skit that may or may not be funny. Is Salt Bay still funny? Anyways, club isn't just some loud event that starts at 8.08. It's a loud event that breaks down walls. It just happens to be at a goofy time. Young Life Club's weird. Play a ton of games, listen to music, dance, talk at the end about Jesus. That one student came and had the best time while hearing about a God who loved them. No, seriously, is Salt Bay still funny or have we moved on? Fast forward to the weekend. No one wants to see more lectures and car rides. We get it, you're in college, you do a lot of stuff. The leader has now spent a total of five hours in a tank and a half of gas of going to and from the school that they lead at. I fill up my gas tank every single time I'm in Finneytown. <laughs> it's a quiet Sunday afternoon, the perfect time to catch up on schoolwork. Then the phone rings. It's from an unknown number, which usually means don't pick up, but for some reason, they do. It's that student. They ask to get lunch. Suddenly, homework isn't important. I'm on my way. The donuts, the basketball games, they're good things. In fact, they're great, but they're meaningless if they don't lead to something bigger. This is the heartbeat of young life, and it always has been. The something doesn't have to be sensational. It doesn't have to be spectacle. It doesn't have to be club, campaigners, or even Young Life Camp. The walls are already down, the teenager is already won, and the stage is already set for something. It's this, to introduce teenagers to Jesus Christ and help them grow in their faith. It looks like this. It's not just because they care, but it's because they've been transformed by God's love and feel compelled to share that in the best way they know how. What's a Young Life leader? They're people, just like you and I. But what does a Young Life leader do? They care, and it looks a lot like showing up one day at a time.